What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the most high energy channel when it comes to my team content, another HTB video, man. How are we all doing today? Let me know in the comments. What are y'all up to today for the rest of the week? What grind are y'all currently working on? Whatever it is, man, I hope y'all get through it. But as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm coming at you guys with something a little different once again. I've been having a lot of fun trying to think of different ways to kind of give back to the community. And in this case, this just kind of screws me over in general. Like there's almost no benefit to me doing this, but I feel like it could end up being super fun for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. As you guys can tell, the title of the video today is going to be Pack Roulette. Now in my previous video, like two days ago, I did a video where I hopped onto somebody's account, took their budget account, and I chose to bless them up with a super squad. Now in today's video, I wanna do something for the sniping community. That's right, man, Mr. HT Beast is making an appearance. Now some of you guys might be wondering, HTB, what the hell is pack roulette? Well, um, I don't think anyone's done this. And if somebody has in the community, please let me know in the comments so I can give them credit. But I kind of thought of this on my own because this is basically a double negative. Essentially, what we're going to be doing, guys, is on the top right, I bought 450,000 VC. And we are going to be playing roulette with these packs. What, what we're going to have to do, guys, is we're going to be opening two... 20 packs that's gonna be 400,000 VC if we have enough to open a couple singles we'll do that but basically out of the 20 packs half of these packs are automatically gonna be put up for a snipe and it's up to me on this piece of paper to choose 10 numbers out of 20 for cards that I want to keep the other 10 are gonna be quick sell cards that I'm gonna be putting up for five 100 MT so oh, sniping shit. community for example if I don't pick the number eight and a dark matter pops up on number eight Not only am I gonna be super sad, but somebody out there is gonna be sniping a dark matter for 500 MT This could go so wrong for me There's really no benefit for me doing this when I could really just do a regular pack opening But I was like, you know what? No regular pack opening today I want to switch things up. Now, one thing I do want to quickly say once again is if you do not follow me on Twitter, I'm sorry. I know some of you guys don't have Twitter, but that's just kind of the easiest platform for me to connect with a bunch of people and let people know that I'm about to be putting up snipes. Now, also, one more thing I am going to be doing is one random person that does follow me on Instagram, since I'm trying to grow that a little bit more, is going to be getting sent $30. For those of you guys that don't know the Insta, Bombastic, here it is. Make sure to go ahead and follow it. And if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, man. We're on that grind to 400K. If we manage to get 3,000 likes on this video, it means that you guys want me to do this in the future with other packs. Think about how crazy it could be once invincible cards are out and I'm just playing roulette. Again, I don't think I've seen anybody do this. And if they have, let me know in the comments. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's officially time. I've got to pick 10 numbers out of 20 before we decide to open these packs. One number I'm for sure keeping is gonna be number 16. It's one of my favorite numbers of all time. We're gonna take number eight as well because I've always liked the number eight. We're gonna keep number two. We're gonna keep number seven because number seven has always been a lucky number. Uh, turning 18 was pretty fun, so we'll keep that as well. Number 13 is always a bad luck number. So in this case, I actually wanna keep it because if I avoid it, that might backfire on me. So right now we got um a few. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Do not judge my chicken scratch writing. It's just the way it is. Number 10 will be the final one. So these right here, guys, are the numbers that I actually get to keep. All the other numbers that we pull out of this pack, I'm gonna be putting up for a quick sell value. So once again, I'm gonna hop on Twitter super quick. I'm gonna put out the tweet for the people. Again, guys, I know gang, it's gang, you're gang, you're probably not happy, but I can't find an Xbox. I've been trying to find an Xbox to buy and there is just none on sale. All right, man, so the tweet is live. PlayStation peeps might wanna sit on that 500 filter for the next 20 minutes. I still can't believe I'm doing this, but A, it's gonna be fun. You guys are probably gonna enjoy if I end up causing severe pain to myself, but it's the name of the game. All right, boys, let's get right to it. So again, the numbers that I get to keep, number one is not gonna be one of them. Now, in these packs, you are guaranteed minimum an amethyst. The reason I waited until today to do the video is because I thought we were gonna get something fire for Tuesday packs, but it ended up being some super wax single packs that you can open five of, so. This card is gonna be a quick sell, Kenny Walker and Jeremy Lamb. Everything I am throwing up for 500 MT. Number two, I get to keep, and it's not even gonna be a shake. Honestly, that's probably gonna end up being quick sell value anyways. 
up next is gonna be number three so y'all see the numbers right here memorize it if you can but I'm gonna cross numbers off as I go just so I can remember so number two is gone number three is not gonna be one we keep anyways now luckily for me at the same time these pack odds aren't exactly the greatest so if I'm not getting blessed anyways it doesn't matter number four is something I get to keep but it's nothing impressive I'm really hoping I don't get finessed man I feel like I'm gonna have to end up settling like a galaxy of Jalen Brown for 500 MT and to kick things off y'all can see I don't have the number five so this pink diamond is automatically going up for 500 MT at the end of this box the question is who's it gonna be Eastern Conference power forward number zero it is going to be an Aaron Gordon my fellow budget players that are out there sniping there is an Aaron Gordon coming your way for 500 MT. Now I do get to keep number six here. And once again, it's going to be another dud. So none of the numbers that I've picked so far have really saved me from any kind of pain, but we keep moving. Seven is another one I get to keep. And again, man, it's going to be another dud. This is not a good look. Now, number eight, I picked six, seven and eight. And none of them were nice to me. Come on, man. I'm choosing the Kobe numbers. I'm trying to get blessed. You would think seven would be a lucky number which is probably why I shouldn't have taken it because it'd be something I don't need. But right now it looks like I'm quick selling a bunch of Amethyst alongside Aaron Gordon. Number 10 is something I chose to keep. And again, I'm trying to show you guys that my pack look all at the same time really isn't the greatest. So this is why low key, I really wasn't too worried for myself. Pack number 11, that is something I don't get to keep. It's gonna be another Amethyst once again. We got to up the odds on this, man. Maybe I got to up the stakes even more. And number 12 is something I actually get to keep. It is going to be a diamond. And it's going to be Kobe Bean Bryant. So we do save ourselves from quick selling a Kobe. That's not too shabby. Number 13. That is why I chose to keep it. That's why I chose to keep it, man. I told y'all number 13 is always an unlucky number. So I no longer have to quick sell a Galaxy Opal. I'm saved. I'm saved. I told y'all, man. Number 13 was the one I was feeling was going to screw me if I didn't peak pick it. Now, it is the worst Galaxy Opal out of the three. But, hey, man, that's one less Galaxy Opal that I have to quick sell. So, I'm definitely not mad about that. Number 14, I don't get to keep this one. And it's going to be two pink diamonds so far that I'm going to be throwing up for 500 MT. So, not too bad. Who's it going to be this time? It's going to be Josh Smith. This card is actually legit, and you guys also know that as well. I've been talking about him a lot, so Josh Smith and Aaron Gordon so far, they're going up for 500 MT. Pack number 15 out of 20, we don't get to keep this one. We do get to keep number 16. That's my favorite number of all time. Do me right, man. Let's go. Let's go. We like the pink diamonds. Hey, I get to keep one of them. I'm not mad at it. So as I see this Atlanta Hawks logo, it is going to be Josh Smith, but that reminds me, man. We got the play-in tournament today. I think the Nets and the Cavs play, and then the Warriors and the Nuggets, if I'm not wrong. Either way, I need y'all to let me know in the comments who do y'all got winning. Personally, I think the Cavs are low-key a better team. They're just kind of injury-ridden right now, and the Nets are more experienced as far as players that they actually have. So, I'm going to say that the Nets win, mainly because they only have to win one game, and it's done. Now, pack number 17, we didn't have to keep anyways, so I'm not too worried about that. Number 18, we do get to keep... And it's not going to be anything spicy, man. Very unfortunate. Now, these next two packs, I don't get to keep. 19 and 20, I don't have them anywhere on the list, as you can see right here. So, these are going to be quick sells. Luckily, that's not a dark matter, but we might be throwing up a Galaxy Opal here for 500 MT. And it's going to be a third pink diamond. Hey, I'm not mad at it. That's actually a good thing, man. Come on. It's going to be another Aaron Gordon is what it looks like. But I kind of wish more of these card arts match their player models because Aaron Gordon clearly doesn't have cornrows. But for the final pack of this box, it's going to not be a shake. And uh, yeah, man, three pink diamonds, I believe. So we got three pink diamonds that are going for quick sell for sure. Aaron Gordon is 500 MT. Josh Smith is 500 MT. And the other Aaron Gordon is 500 MT. Everybody else will go to keep. Honestly, all these Amethysts, I'm just going to throw for 500 MT anyways, because usually I would quick sell them anyway. But let's see if a bunch of you snipers are out there. I've already ran out of room. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these Amethysts out of the way. These are cards that I was going to end up quick selling anyway. So I was like, you know what? Why not go bless a couple people, man? You guys can see I've got a lot of Josh Smith is sitting in my auction house. And these were from the pack openings on Friday. And I just never sold them. But purely. 
literally because they're sitting in here, I'm gonna throw up one extra Josh Smith and one extra Aaron Gordon for you guys. You know what? Let me throw up this Quinn Snyder, 250 MT because I wanna bless you guys. But uh, for that pack, we had a Josh Smith. I'm gonna double down on it. So I'm gonna give away two Josh Smith this right here for 500 MT. Y'all get it if you can. Why not throw in a third one? Because I love you guys, man. I hope you guys are actually getting these snipes. Aaron Gordon, 500 MT, say goodbye. Another Aaron Gordon, 500 MT, say goodbye. One more Aaron Gordon because why not? And you know what? The David Thompson that I got, he wasn't anything too special, but I'm still gonna keep him. There's still rules to this, but uh, yeah. Y'all can see there's a ton of for 500 MT and we're about to run it all back. I think they're all gone. Yeah, most of them are already gone. That's nuts. Now for the next 20 box, I've got to put in new numbers. I can't put in the same ones, but I am still going to go with 16. I am still going to go with eight because I love that number. Scotty Barnes, number four, got to keep that once again. And the number 13, man, it continues to scare me. So I'll keep that one. But you know what? We'll actually go with 11 this time since we did not choose it last time. Uh, we'll go with the number 19 just to switch it up a little bit and why not take the number one as well so that's one two three four five six seven numbers already the number seven isn't bad i am gonna take the number six shout out to my boy lebron raymond james i'm also gonna run it back with the number 12 and we'll take the number 17 in this case just because that's my homie's birthday coming up so these are going to be the new numbers, 16, 8, 4, 13, 11, 19, 16, 12, and 17. I know I got chicken scratch writing, y'all ain't got to tell me about it, but let's hop right into this next 20 box, man, and let's see how things go. Am I going to be able to quick sell a dark matter in today's video? That's really the big question in all this. Now, number one is something I get to keep. That's not going to be anything too crazy, but it is a diamond deandre jordan nothing too nuts but hey man mt saved is mt saved we're gonna keep it rolling number two is a shake and i don't get to keep it is this the first galaxy opal that i'm gonna be quick selling on the htb pack roulette it is not once again it's gonna be just another pink diamond i, I saved myself another day man Another pink diamond Josh Smith in the bag. So the, the funny thing about this video is I get to test this YouTuber pack luck that you guys always tell me about. And as you guys have seen from the last couple weeks, man, I, I don't exactly have this so-called YouTuber pack luck. It's just not there. Kenny Walker, that's a card that we get to keep. But again, it's not going to matter because it's nothing special. The diamond is something we also get to keep. It's going to be another DeAndre Jordan. So I'm getting trolled with DJ, man. I really did not like seeing that man play for the Lakers. It was crazy. Number five is a diamond I get to quick sell. Is it going to be the Mamba? No! That's... <laughs> I have to quick sell the hollow version. Oh, that Loki sucks. That card art is so pretty. A deal's a deal, man. A deal's a deal. That's better than a dark matter at the end of the day. Number six is something we get to keep. Seeing a lot more diamonds in this box, but again... That's not going to be anything that matters. So far, it's a Josh Smith. Number seven, I don't get to keep. So this is guaranteed another pink diamond minimum. Josh Smith and DeAndre Jordan right now, they're the big names going to the gulag. And now it's going to be another pink diamond. I'm honestly getting blessed. I'm surprised that it's this type of video that I'm not seeing any dark matters because that's honestly what I was expecting. I would have definitely cried if we see a dark matter Paul George and I have to quick sell that card because I don't even have them in my collection yet. That's how crazy it is, but two Josh Smiths are about to go up for 500 MT. This should be a ton of fun. Number eight, I get to keep. Thank God, because uh, I gotta keep some of these pink diamonds, right? Pink diamond Aaron Gordon, that's definitely not too shabby. Now, one thing I am seeing on Twitter is some people are saying that they're currently at work and can't snipe. So the next time I actually do do this video, I'll make sure time so that time so that time so that most of you guys are out of school and stuff and you can actually participate in the sniping. But a nine out of 20, we don't get to keep that anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Number 10, this one's going to the Gulag as well. And it's just a bunch of Dennis Smith Juniors. Now, number 11, come on 2K, show me something a little spicy, man. I'm really surprised we've only seen one Galaxy Opal so far. That's how bad our pack luck is. Number 12, we don't get to keep either. Lucky number 13 in this case, man. Come on, be good to me, and it is going to be an absolute dunce. Now, 14 and 15, these are quick sell cards. So this could end up really badly, but in this case, we're actually getting blessed. Psych, it's going to be another DeAndre Jordan going to the auction house. So, so far, two DeAndres and two Josh Smiths are being sent to the Gulag. We got yet another Kenny Walker for 500 MT, but... 
I know you guys don't care too much about the amethyst. Number 16 I get to keep. Lucky number 16. Lucky number 16. Let's go. You know what? Give me Jalen Brown. I see that Celtics logo. Bless me up. It's going to be Western Conference shooting guard. Number 33. Unfortunately, it's not Jason Richardson. It's another David Thompson. It is what it is, man. Number 17 is something we're going to get to keep anyways. Back-to-back -back Amethyst. Nothing we really care about there. Number 18. This one's going to the Gulag. I'm really surprised we didn't see a Dark Matter. Yet again, it took me $300 to see a Dark Matter when I did a pack opening on Friday. And we're simply just not spending that much for me to gamble quick selling. Number 20 is a quick sell. And we're not really going to end it off on a good note. Now, since we do have leftover VC, I'm going to send these guys to the auction house. We got to quick sell two of those Josh Smith is. It's going to hurt quick selling the DeAndre Jordan Hollow, but it's got to be done. All these other guys will be put up for quick sell values because usually I would otherwise just, you know, quick sell them anyways. I don't have room, so I've got to sell all the content. But what we're going to do here, guys, is with the remaining VC that I have, I have to flip a coin. Am I going to keep or am I going to sell as I open? And for this one, I am choosing sell. We're not keeping this one. It's got to be a balanced amount of keep and sell. <laughs> F, F, F. This one's gonna be a sell, man. So someone is getting a Galaxy Opal for 500 MT. Eastern Conference shooting guard. I hope y'all like Jalen Brown. He's the best Galaxy Opal to drop in packs this weekend. And this boy is going up for a good 500 MT. That's tough. Now, since the last one was a sell, this one is going to be a keep. And honestly, I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm not really going to pick because I want to keep it 50-50. So this one was a keep. It's going to be nothing too special. Going to go ahead and get rid of that anyways because we are running out of room. This one is going to be a sell. Lord, if I see a dark matter, I am going to flip a gasket. Okay, so this keep sell method, it's not working out very well for me right now. I, I, I was a little shook that that was going to be a dark matter shake, but what's it going to be? It's going to be a pink diamond. So three more pink diamonds here going up for quick sells. Eastern Conference number zero. Two Josh Smithes, an Aaron Gordon, and a Jalen Brown for 500 MT. So this is technically the last single I can open with VC because I won't have enough for two more. So just because I love y'all, man, this one is going to be a sell as well. If it ends up being a blessing, I'm not seeing any shakes. It's going to be Dennis Smith Jr. Hey, I'll throw him up for a snipe just because you guys want him but all around man that wasn't too bad i honestly thought i was gonna have to end up quick selling a dark matter and that was kind of the fear in all this but oh this one's gonna suck one of you guys has just gotten yourselves a jalen brown for 500 mt that one is definitely gonna hurt that one's gonna hurt the soul and just because i love you guys so much y'all can take a jason richardson too because honestly i want to see a dark matter today because it would have added a nice thrill Aaron Gordon, we got to put you up for a quick sell. Might as well throw two of you up. I know we got to throw up two Josh Smithes as well. So, oh boy, Th this is not going to end too well for us. But you know what? I like to do this for the community. Sniping community, I hope you guys are going crazy, especially when you get the hollows. I love collecting my hollow cards though, but a promise is a promise. It is what we pulled out of the pack. It would lose value if we went with the normal one. I gotta keep my word, so there it is for 500 MT, and then for the rest of these Amethyst cards, they're gonna go as well, man. Whoever's getting blessed, I hope y'all are enjoying it. Hopefully, everybody's eating. I hope this is not just one person going crazy with the snipes and making a ton of MT, because if that's the case, that's definitely gonna suck. DeAndre Jordan, I don't really give value any value anyways, but somebody out there is gonna value you. Someone out there is gonna take care of you, and uh, boom. Just like that, man, we have quick sold a bunch of cards. That's an unhealthy amount of cards that we have put up for 500 MT. Just look at that, man. Goodbye, Hollow DeAndre. Y'all can see that they're going away like flies. It's nuts. But um, that's going to do it for episode one of Pack Roulette. I want to try to do this weekly with all the new packs because it'll keep things exciting. If y'all want to see me keep doing this over and over, let me know in the comments. But that's going to do it for today's video, man. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you got to hit that subscribe button, man. 400K by the summer. That's the goal. Take it easy, boys. Woo!